How to remove encryption from your Xiaomi Poco F1 running MIUI 11 based on Android 10. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can remove encryption from your Poco F1 running MIUI 11 based on Android 10. As you can see, I do have the POCO F1 running MIUI 11.0.4.0 based on Android 10. And if we go into settings and then you can go into password and security and then go into privacy, you will see that encryption and credentials is mentioned as encrypted. This means that my POCO F1 is encrypted. Now, why would you want to remove encryption or say decrypt your POCO F1? Well, for those of us who flash custom ROMs on a daily basis, we just prefer not to be encrypted so that in case you come across a ROM which is encrypted and your device is not encrypted, then you'll have to do a format data, which is why once you have decrypted your device or once you have removed encryption from your POCO F1, you will have to flash disable force encryption after every ROM or after every vendor flash or update. What are the prerequisites for this video? The prerequisite for this video is that you need to have twerp recovery installed. And another thing you need to note is that you are going to lose all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device. So make sure you have a backup of all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device. All the files which we're going to use in this video are linked in the description of the video. And we are going to use a special version of disable force encryption and then we're going to use Magisk. Please note, do not rename this disable force encryption file because the name itself signifies a lot of things and the zip has logic to do certain functions or perform certain actions based on the name of the zip file. So again, please do not rename the zip file. Next thing, you'll go into settings, password and security and remove your password, fingerprint unlock and face unlock. Once that is done, you will go back, scroll down, Go into me account and remove your me account. Once that is done, you'll go back, go into accounts and sync and remove your Google account. Once you have removed all your accounts and security measures, you will have to reboot your device once. Why are we removing all the accounts and security measures? We're removing them because we are going to do a format data from to a recovery. And if you do not remove them, you will have to sign back into the same accounts. And it's just a pain, which is why I just prefer to remove them all together. Once you have downloaded all the files, removed all the accounts and security measures, next thing we have to do is we will boot into Twerp Recovery. For that, the first thing we need to do is turn off our device. And once you have turned your device off, we need to press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till we see the Twerp Recovery boot logo. Once we have booted into Twerp Recovery, we'll go into install. And now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded the disable force encryption zip file and the magisk zip file in case the files were downloaded on your phone directly they will be in the download folder in my case i have transferred them manually so they are in the root directory first file which we need to select is the disable force encryption click on add more zips select the magisk zip file and then swipe to confirm flash why do we need to flash magisk we need to flash magisk because if you do not flash magisk then on first boot up your twerp recovery will be overwritten by stock miui recovery once both the files are flashed successfully click on the home button go into wipe format data type in yes and then click on the check mark button on the bottom right of the keyboard do note format data will result in wiping out of all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device so as i mentioned earlier make sure you have a backup of all the important things which you have on your POCO F1. Next thing, all we need to do is click on Reboot System. If you get a prompt about installing TWRP as a system app, uncheck the options and then select Do Not Install. Back into MIUI 11, let me skip the initial setup real quick. And now that the initial setup is complete, we can go into Settings and then we can go into About Phone, still running MIUI 11.0.4.0 based on Android 10. And then we can go into password and security and then look for privacy and bam there it is 
encryption and credentials says phone is not encrypted which means we have successfully decrypted or successfully removed encryption from our poco f1 running miui 11 based on android 10 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you